Hi, welcome to my channel, DIY Enjoyment. In the previous lesson, we created an enclosure. In this lesson, we want to create a sound source and cut the enclosure to put the source on it. Let's go. This is the sound source location. The enclosure must be divided into some parts corresponding to this figure to provide the, the location of the sound source. As you can see, we need to create four nodes. If the sound source is 12 by 12 centimeters, these numbers will be the Cartesian coordinates of the points. Double click on the nodes. Create these additional points accordingly. Now, we need to remove the additional part of the body and create a new body to put the sound source on it. Follow this direction. 1004, 1003, 1012, 1009. After that, 1010, 1012, 1002, 1011. As you can see, we created a square hole as the source location. In the previous lesson, we said the enclosure could be an interior subdomain of the whole space, and the outer space is an exterior subdomain. In this lesson, we want to create the exterior subdomain. Click on the subdomain. Choose a name for it, for example, outside. On the second tab, Choose Exterior. Now, choose Diaphragm and click on Apply. Select Outside and click on OK. On the Dimensions tab, you can enter the diameter of your driver. This figure is a good example. According to this figure, the diaphragm diameter is 0.12 meter. On the inner part tab, enter all information corresponding to the figure. Because the depth of the enclosure is on the Z-axis, it's so important to select this item accordingly on the Position tab. As you can see, there is a gap here. Click on the parameters, choose with Baffle and click on Apply. As you can see, 
the gap is filled. There is a very important tab here, named meshing. I'll explain it in the next lesson. Click on the diaphragm, copy, and then paste it into the interior subdomain. Now click on the pasted diaphragm to open its related window. On the parameters tab, choose the rear as the back of the speaker. Since the speaker has two sides, we must create it accordingly in this software. We've only created the inner body of the speaker by now. Since the outer body of the speaker is visible and it affects the calculations, we have to draw it to provide an exact result. In the interior subdomain, the inner walls have a damping coefficient due to the damping material, but the outer walls are reflective. Because the materials used in practice are rigid and reflect the sound waves, copy this item and paste it into the exterior subdomain. Now click on the pasted elements and choose the boundaries tab, reflective, respectively. Click on the planes and choose all directions, swap normals, apply. Good luck and have a good time.